My guest today is Tanya Johnson, the Internet Marketing Officer with the Nova Scotia Department of Tourism and who is also responsible for the NovaScotia.com website. Tanya, you and your team must be extremely pleased with the accolades received in 2007. Nova Scotia Department of Tourism won the Tourism Innovator Award at the annual TIAC Conference in Vancouver and just a few days later was one of the three finalists in the Tourism Innovation category at the Canadian eTourism Awards. Yeah, Tom, we are really pleased with the results. Uh, it was great to be recognized by both the associations. And um, we, as a small destination, we really try to be on the cutting edge of things, even though our budgets aren't quite as big as the big guys. We still right, try to be a player in the game. Tanya, the Nova Scotia Department of Tourism made a lot of headlines last year when it became one of the first in the world to adopt Google Earth mapping software onto your website. I believe New Zealand and Australia quickly followed suit. Are you pleased with the Google Earth results to date? So far, Tom, we've been really pleased. We got great media exposure, which was excellent visitation to NovaScotia.com. We've had 20,000 different visitors download the application. And of the people who visit the Google Earth page, we actually have 46% download rate, which we're quite happy with. Another successful feature of NovaScotia.com has been the vignette section. Vignettes are short videos which help visitors sample some of the experiences available in Nova Scotia. Kenya, how well have they been received to date? The vignettes have been great. So far we have 26 vignettes on NovaScotia.com and we have planned for another 10 or so to be um, uploaded to the site in the next four to six months. Um, they really give the visitor a first-hand look at uh, different experiences in Nova Scotia and allow them to sample the product before they come. So some upcoming vignettes um, that we're working on is tidal bore rafting. Also there's a video vignette which shows the tides um, rising and falling in Har Halls Harbor and people eating lobster right on the beach. Sounds really interesting. Um, besides Google Earth and your vignettes, I'm sure you have some more highlights you want to talk about in uh, 2007. Sure, Tom. Um, last year we really focused on some operator programs. We tried to give the operators as much exposure on NovaScotia.com as possible. We upgraded the photo program so they could uh, put six photos on their listings along with short captions, which have been great. We've been really, a lot of accommodation and attraction operators have taken us up on this program. We're still struggling a bit with tour operators and outdoor operators, but the ones that are really highly motivated to get their word out there have really jumped onto this program and are doing really well. The other program that um, has been quite successful last year was our packages program. We've been really um, trying to connect the the visitor with packages and then with the actual operator listings. So we brought packages into the operator listings last year in 2007 and we're really encouraging operators to jump into the packages program. It's quite affordable. It's only $50 for three months and um, we're really endorsing them to give it a try and see if it works for them. We also pick some of the best packages and rotate them on NovaScotia.com on the home page which is a great extra uh, benefit to uh, putting in a package. <laughs> uh, recently, um, uh, in the year to date, the uh, results of uh, Nova Scotia Tourism, uh, it indicated that the website visits were up for NovaScotia.com. I, I think it's probably the third or fourth year. Um, but downloads were down 22%. Can you explain a little bit about what the downloads were and maybe was, um, and why they might have been down this year? Sure. The downloads, um, we've been tracking download numbers for a number of years. The downloads uh, in the last couple of years have simply been the lower sections out of the travel guide. The reason that I expect that the downloads were down this year is that the a lot of the content that's within the download section has really been integrated into NovaScotia.com in a more friendly manner for the users to actually surf on the website. So the quality of the downloads has dropped simply because the information is as usable in a download format as it is actually on NovaScotia.com. Could you tell me a little bit about your plans for online marketing with NovaScotia.com in 2008 and how uh, it's being used to attract more visitors to come to Nova Scotia? Sure, Tom. Um, in 2007, we launched our first uh, pay-per-click SEO uh, campaign. In 2008, we're looking at doing that again. We also um, are really working on our organic search campaign as well to get NovaScotia.com 
um, organically searched as much as possible. Um, in addition to that, we've started RSS feeds on NovaScotia.com where we're pushing out vacation ideas and we're also pushing out um, the actual video vignettes. And we have lots of other really great things coming in 2008. Uh, a lot of them are in the planning stage right now. We're looking at social marketing for one, blogging, that sort of thing. Um, but these plans are still in development, so you'll have to stay tuned for more exciting ideas. Thank you, Tanya, for sharing some time with me today and discussing NovaScotia.com. Thank you very much, Tom.